First, we take about 0.2 grams of our sample. It can be a leaf or a root. If it's a root, get the main part, not the stringy secondary roots. Take your extraction bag and place the sample between the two mesh sides. Bring the sample to the bottom of the bag if you can. Now, you're going to add 2 milliliters of Agdia's GEB2, which is an extraction buffer. Take a blunt object and grind the sample for about 2 minutes. If you're going to do an RPA, we take 1 microliter of this liquid and use it as our DNA sample. For LAMP, qPCR, or traditional PCR, we'll clean the sample up more before we use it. Your primers, probe, detection chambers, and all reagents provided in your Accelerate Discovery test kit should be stored between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Allow these to warm to room temperature for 20 to 30 minutes before we begin. We'll set our heat block to 39 degrees Celsius. Switch on the power in the back and hit the set button. We don't want to change the first digit, so we'll hit the set button again to edit the second digit and use the arrows to change the value. We hit the set button to move to the third digit and use the arrows to change the value again. Once we have the temperature we want, we leave it alone and go mix our reagents. We are going to take a PCR tube, fill it with 5.9 microliters of rehydration buffer, 0.42 microliters of each primer, 0.12 microliters of the probe, 0.5 microliters of magnesium acetate, and 1.64 microliters of deionized water for each sample. We call the resulting solution our master mix. Since we only have one sample, we add one microliter of our DNA directly to the master mix. Then we vortex and spin the solution. Now we add the contents of the tube to the reaction pellet and mix the sample until the pellet is dissolved. We then vortex and spin our sample twice and place it in the heat block. If you have more than one sample, you won't add DNA until after you dissolve the pellet with 9 microliters of master mix. After 20 minutes, we take our samples and put them in a small gray case. Place the tubes as shown and snap the case shut. Part of the tube will stick out, but don't worry about this. Point the arrow on the case toward the back of the detection chamber and slide the case down. Snap the chamber shut and wait 20 minutes for your results. One line is negative and two lines are positive. If you have two lines but one is much darker than the other one, you still have a positive result. If you have one line after 20 minutes but a second line appears after a day or so, you still have a negative result. In the next video, I will show you the steps needed to further purify this DNA sample for the LAMP RPA test.